I loved you on Star Trek. Please come back. <laughs> the priests yield the floor to Jim Dark Magic. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Al was always one of my favorite elves. And, uh, hey, I'm... guys. <laughs> I was just standing outside the window listening, and I thought I'd remind you that his name is Aelfell! Bye! The priests will escort him from the room. Bye! And I'm, I'm, pretty sure I, uh, I'm pretty sure I mage-handed a magical artifact out of that acid pool, and you know what? I, I seem to have misplaced it uh, in the intervening time, so don't worry about that. <laughs> and you cast some spell effects and disappear from sight. All right. Jim Winks. At Jim Winks. Jim Winks. At the end of the ritual, absolutely nothing happens. Well, and the priests we gave are the old aghast. college try. <laughs> and they say, confound it. Hold on a second. And, Is that uh, the wrong ritual? <laughs> They double this is check. a ritual to keep them in the afterlife. <laughs> Don't anybody think of a giant marshmallow man. <laughs> we, we missed nothing. There's only one explanation for this. Somebody else must have brought him back from the dead already. Oh. oh. Wow. Is he in Castle Anthrax, I hope? <laughs> <laughs> Well, then he's fine. Yeah, so yeah. back Good. to rolling around in magic yeah. shit. Good for him. We'll get him. back to you with a divination. Find out what's going on. I'm not worried about that. Don't, yeah. don't trouble yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I, I assume that's an extra charge. <laughs> he says, Yeah, uh, we're not paying for this now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I paid for a resurrection. All right. A week passes. <laughs> <laughs> Seven days ago, they told you uh, what they could, and that is Aelifel uh, is alive, but he doesn't appear to be on this plane. God damn it. <laughs> I want this motherfucking Aladrin off my motherfucking plane. <laughs> <laughs> that was very funny. That was funny. That was good. What I'm going to have you guys do to get into the, the rolling here is to start poking around Hammerfast. And there are two things you can kind of do. Sort of think of it as the Three sort of the, the pre-title sequence of Diamonds Are Forever. You all seen that movie? Hell you know, and yeah. James Bond goes around, he starts punching people in the head and beating the shit out of them and strangling women, throwing bra straps. Is that diplomacy? <laughs> <laughs> See? I got him with I got him I got with the D and D joke. I know my target demographic. The first, first thing you have to do is identify who are the right people to go after, and that's a streetwise check for the three of you. And oh, I need at I least two of you to succeed on this. Okay. Cool. Not gonna be Jim. <laughs> well, I have, a, I have a one, so I can add one to my roll. I have a five. I rolled a 19. All right. <laughs> that's Listen, one. I rolled a four, I rolled a 14 plus one is 15. 15 is two. 17. Excellent, you all triumph. You find throughout town the right people to go after and the right people to beat up, including one Lear Ambershard, a fellow who you chased oh, out of the manor. Oh, shit. Yes. <laughs> I put says, my foot in his nuts. Oof. <laughs> Stop right kicking in me in the nuts. <laughs> all right, what I'd like you all to do now is to either make a diplomacy check or an intimidate check. It's your individual choices. Yeah. Again, Ooh, we need at least two of you to succeed at one of those. Well, should I go with the plus the one or the plus one? Here, here. I'll be the good cop. Oh, that's not very good. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what was it, intimidate? Yeah. So, ten. Ten, not enough. Ooh. Can I use my arcana to make an intimidate check? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. You could, surround, you could surround him with a bunch of dire doves. <laughs> yeah. That's Tell me where he is, or I'll give you the Latin root of this magic word. <laughs> uh, well, so you're basically. I want to magically make myself seem more imposing, dungeon master. Go for it. In that cloak. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Fifteen. That's enough. Well oh. Done. oh. Hey. hey. 
All right, I pull a 22 diplomacy. Nice. All right. Nice. Um, you... I tell him straight out, I say that every person that I work with is completely insane. <laughs> and I have no idea what they're going to do from moment to moment. <laughs> I'm just letting, I'm letting you know that this is just an FYI. Um, you could be destroyed. You, he could create a feather bed and cuddle with you on it. I have no idea. I'll do anything. Just yeah. tell the dwarf to stop kicking me in the nuts. Okay, one more kick. Just one more kick. Oof! Yeah. Really enjoy right. this last one, and then yeah. we're going to talk to him. The only shards you're going to have are in your nuts. <laughs> shards of testicles. Oh. Uh, what? <laughs> That's I how we. Was, I this, thought it was awesome. That's how the bronze bottoms do it. That's my A material. Uh, All right. <laughs> uh, after kicking the crap out of Lear and his associates, it and by succeeding, by the way, you didn't, it didn't actually get into a fight or anything, so it doesn't cost you a bunch of healing surges. So oh, well done, guys. Awesome. Well done. I like that. Yep. And uh, you're told the following information: that Lear's mama, Citrine, mm -hmm. has yeah. took Jeez. paid big bucks to get Aelofel raised just so you couldn't. Wait, what was the name again? Citrine. Citrine, you remember her. She yeah. was the one that uh, was. She's the, she's the head yeah, of the Amber Shard clan. Right. And she was like faking, like, oh, I can talk in right, Elf right, member. Right, and we were right, like, right, right, right. yeah, you're full of crap, lady. What is up yeah. with that bitch? Um, moreover, she has got this thing going where uh, she takes slaves to some sort of secret location and then mm. gets money for them. Mm. Probably a rave. And Lear. <laughs> they might even advertise about it on Craigslist. And <laughs> In Hammerfest, there's probably Craigslist. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. God. Wow. All I'll, I'm saying I'll take 50% joy. Yeah. If well you were playing done. in my game, you would get a plus one on your next roll. Yeah. See, yeah. <laughs> Crags like on the rock. Right. right. That's awesome. Because of Jim's magical demonstration, you also learn exactly where it is she takes these people to this dungeon complex called the Twisting Halls, which her dwarves have been kind of uh, building into, uh, trying to create a underground stronghold. There is a portal there that she uses to get around quickly. And uh, Lear can tell it, you where it is. This isn't that bad. I've played this game. You spin the wheel, and then it's like you have to put your right hand on the color that matches. Oh, yeah, that's not so bad. Yeah. yeah. So he doesn't know anything about the portal, though. He says he can give you, he can tell you exactly where the twisting halls are. Please don't kick me in the nuts. He can tell you exactly how to wend your way through the dungeon without getting into any trouble and getting to the portal safely. Please, please don't eat me, Mr. Jim Deck Magic, with your powerful magic. And uh, can we make an insight check to see if he's going to, you sure if he's can. lying to if us? He's, if he's yeah. BSing you, make a BS check. Well, I shouldn't make it. <laughs> I got a four oh, inside. Yeah, we know. Omen has, is pretty darn sure you have scared the crap out of him. It was and, pretty nuts. And appealed yeah. to his, you know, rational side of the brain. Yeah. Pretty yeah. nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore, they ain't. Kurtz and I will have the 12 year old side of the table completely <laughs> locked up for the rest of the, for right. the rest of today. I've already farted twice. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny out there. Since we've been up here. <laughs> so, I think I, I need to use a healing surge. <laughs> <laughs> I so, say we go. Yeah. yeah. You need to use Absolutely. two. <laughs> All right. You head out to the Twisting Halls. You follow Lear's instructions. As you explore the dungeon, and sort of just sort of uh, following this crude map that you were given, you stumble upon a creature that seems to have kind of lost its way. And without too much of a fuss, it sort of just starts following you. Really? That yeah. Happens. And you kind of realize that it, it's, it's kind of lonely. What does it look like? What does it look like? It looks like about a six and a half foot tall, shambling mass of rotting flesh. Some dead guy who's oh. like chewing on some other dead guy's severed arm. Can we take it home? Yeah. I'll take care of it. Oh, awesome. He hey. likes me. Hey. Yeah, yeah. I was just. You have to think about the undead in terms of billable hours. Yeah. Zero. Zero billable hours. Zero billable hours. I have no problem killing it either directly or indirectly. <laughs> Listen, I think that there is a place, does it have a name tag or something, like a stray dog? You, you give it a once over, you can see it's got 
Uh, no indication of a name, but it does seem to have rudimentary speaking capability. Okay. Jim. <laughs> Jim. Stinky. Yeah. Ain't that the truth, pal. Ain't that the truth. Well, well, Stinky, I think that we have a place for you in our organization. The pay's not great. It's, in fact, it's zero. In fact, it's actually negative one because there's some paperwork we have to file. But I think we have a place for you, and, um, and uh, it's in the next acid pit, I'm sure. <laughs> We're talking about rudimentary Yay, animation. Yay. I'm not mixing player knowledge with character knowledge. Ah. <laughs> can, uh, can we tell if Stinky is DPS? <laughs> Well, that's an excellent segue to get Will out of character for a second. Will, can you talk a little bit about your character and go through its abilities? So they My name is Mr. Stinky the Zombie. I'm a level five minion soldier. Could I get some? Dun, 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 dun. Okay. I have one hit point. My AC is 19. My fortitude is 17. Reflex 14. Will 15. My initiative is plus two. I have dark vision. My speed is four. I can resist 10 necrotic. I have a trait called that wonderful smell. It's an aura one. The stench of the grave surrounds you. Living creatures in the aura take a minus five penalty to saving throws. Among my standard actions are such things as bash with severed arm, a necrotic at will power with a melee one attack that's plus 10 versus AC. When I hit, I do eight necrotic damage and the target falls prone. As a minor action, I can gnaw on my okay, severed okay, arm. All right, we got you. <laughs> As a wow, minor action, you can gnaw on your severed arm. And gain 10 temporary wow, hit points. Wow, wow, wow. That's pretty good then. Yeah. And, <clears throat> all allies that can see me are grossed out. Save ends. An ally that's grossed out doesn't consider you its ally. <laughs> Interesting. And my triggered action is to play dead. You remain in play at the start of your next turn. You regain one hit point and can stand up as a free action. I'm Mr. Stinky, and I'm your minion. I already like this guy better than Al. Yeah. <laughs> His name is Aofel. One of my skills is reminding you of that. Who's mixing character knowledge with player knowledge? <laughs> Kurt! So, do we th are, are creatures like Mr. Stinky common in this complex? I You've mean, only seen the one. Going he, back and forth? Huh. There's only the one. Uh, can, I, can I make a history check There's on only Mr. One Mr. Stinky, Stinky to see if I recognize like any tatters of armor or anything like that? Oh, sure. Go ahead. 24. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you can see that he's wearing standard issue adventurer's underwear. Okay. It's part, part of the adventurer's kit, so you think he must have been a former adventurer. Oh, Ooh. all right. And now he's a zombie. And chances are the arm he's holding was another a former adventurer. Yeah. He, said, hey. he, said, he said, hey. When he said adventurer's underwear. Oh, oh, oh. sarcastic laughing guy is here. <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise, finding you at a nerd gathering. <laughs> <laughs> in the twisting halls, you find a secret chamber, as you expected to, which has a portal etched onto the floor. It's a big giant circle encrusted with fiery red gemstones. The question is... Do you want the gemstones? <laughs> is, this like, is this like deal or no deal? <laughs> uh, do you want to make an arcana check to figure out how it all works? I don't. You, you're really good at arcana, right? Oh, are you kidding? I even know that it's arcana. <laughs> oh. oh, this is going to be nuts. 